How's it going? Happy Valentine's. It's just me and you um, and the grumpy dog. Should I, do you want to put music on? Yes, it's the old iPod. So, <laughs> basically this is, uh, this is just me and you. Um, I figured, I just wanted to thank you for watching and just, and this is just another way of like, just kind of doing something that's kind of unique, I guess. I don't know. Is it? I have no idea. But uh, what we're doing is we're having dinner. And it's Valentine's Day, and it's just me and you. And what we have for dinner right now is uh, we have pasta. It's a carbonara. Actually, let me go get it. I'll get your. Let me go get your dish. Let me go get mine. so hungry <laughs> so the idea here is basically um, well okay first of all it's Valentine's Day today and Dawn is in Toronto she uh, her best friend just gave birth to a baby to chase and uh, she flew over there to see the baby and I think she's having Valentine's Day dinner with Ashley so I figured why not do something different this year, which usually I don't get a chance to do, you know, these kind of things. And, uh, and I figured if I'm alone for Valentine's Day, I'm sure there's somebody else that's going to be alone for Valentine's Day. So I figured why not do something like this where you just kind of sit down, literally have dinner with me. So, I mean, you can pause it and go get your dinner. <laughs> I'll wait or you can just pause it um, but yeah I just want to say thank you thank you for watching thank you for always being there uh, every week you've been tuning in and I'm very grateful um, you know you know I feel like I'm friends with a lot of people that watch I, I try to create a connection with everybody and um, and yeah nobody should be alone on Valentine's Day so yeah that's the stance I'm taking today. No, don't be alone on Valentine's Day. Anyways. Can we say cheers? I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah, so it's just us. We're having dinner. Hopefully your dinner is fancier than mine. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's KD. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's lobster. <laughs> I don't know. Valentine's Day is one of those things that, like, you into it or you're not into it. Like, I, I know a lot of people say, like, oh, it's just a holiday for, like, you know, it's a Hallmark holiday and it's just there to make money and stuff like that. But at the same time, Everyone's really busy, so days like this, like when it's like sectioned off as a day that you need to like hang out with somebody, do something with for your loved ones or with your friends, it's just nice. Like even though we need to be reminded, I don't know. It's just like Don's not really into it, but. Clearly, I am way too into it, <laughs> but I don't know, it's just, I don't know. It's pretty good. If I do say so myself. I don't know how I'm going to feel about watching myself eat on camera. 
It's like almost like a mukbang. But, so tell me, where did you grow up? <laughs> I was born in Montreal, uh, raised in Toronto, in a shitty neighborhood. <laughs> Some people are still there. Most of us left. It was kind of like a lot of crime and stuff. So, and then I moved to, I moved downtown Toronto. I was there for 10 years. Uh, Don and I lived there together for a good portion of it. Um, and then, yeah, and then I moved to the snowboarding capital of Canada. I would say it's probably the snowboarding capital of like North America. Wow. Mind you, there's Colorado, but. Yeah, so then growing up, my best friend, her name is Tara. Um, we met when, when we were 13 years old at an ice rink. We used to go all the time and like, oh, this is so weird, but. We used to go all the time, like just go skating. Like, I think it was on Thursdays. And, uh, and, and, oh, and Sandra is like another close friend of mine. And we met at 13 too. The one I made the video last week about. No, not last week. It was a month ago. Whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I always got along with girls more than guys. I mean, I don't know. It's just the way, I guess, the way I grew up. I don't know. Are you supposed to have, like, guy best friend and a girl best friend? I don't know. Is that how it works? I don't even know. So, how long have you been watching YouTube? I guess you can, like, answer these things, like, in the comments below, because I would like to know. Because I've been watching YouTube for a very long time. Like, since the beginning of YouTube. Because I used to, like, when YouTube started, I used to post to YouTube. But, it just, like, just random videos and, like, didn't make any sense. It was before anyone was, like, really making a career out of it. I really like... Casey Neistat on YouTube. Like all the, anything that's really funny, like, um, um, like David Dobrik, or like Al Mills, or um, Brandy TV, kind of a new one. Or like I'll watch Jenna, Jenna and Julian. I thought they're really funny. And then there's like serious stuff that I watch too, like camera and lens reviews that Don hates. <laughs> it's just so boring, but like I love them because I love hearing more about these the new the newest cameras, the newest lens. Um, stuff like that. And then there's like I don't know, there's like Mr. Beast. That I watch a lot of. And Mr. Beast is like awesome because he makes you like want to be a better person overall. Like, uh, makes you feel like you can be a like a philanthrop philanthropist. But, which I can, obviously. I don't know. I couldn't. Yeah, it's, it's just like. Have you seen any of these guys? Like, you should check them out. Um, family vlogs, like, vlogs about, like, families, there's a few people I follow, but not, it's not a huge thing for me, and not even traveling vlogs either, because traveling vlogs, I just feel like, I'm just like, why am I watching this, like, I just want to be there. So I go, look at this beach. 
Like, thanks. While you're sitting in your cubicle at work. <laughs> Look how cool my life is. It just reminds you how shitty your life might be. That guy, Fun for Lilith, sitting. It's called. I was showing Don the other day. Like, this guy made a whole career of just traveling. Have you traveled a lot? Like, because I've been, we used to do these, like, random trips for my birthday, which is in three days from now, so remember? We used to do these random trips to, like, these indoor water parks. Because indoor, because February is so cold that we were like, oh, we should just go somewhere warm. And because indoor water parks are like, they're all heated, the water's heated, it literally feels hot in there. We used to like jam pack eight adults into a minivan and then drive. I mean, we've been to Wisconsin, Ohio, Tennessee. Um, Yeah, we've been to a lot of different places. We did it for five years, every year for five years. And um, it was a lot of fun. It was funny because even when we used to like, when I used to call in, I have to call in to get the tickets, like order them online or order them on the phone. The girl's like, how many adults? And I was like, eight. They're like, okay, and how many kids? None. And, there, and then there's like this really awkward pause and she's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, just no kids. <laughs> oh, whatever. Who cares? I mean, maybe it's because I wanted to be a lifeguard when I was a kid. And I guess just being by the water makes me happy. I did most of the classes. Like, most of my, like, Lifeguarding uh, courses, I did them, except one, literally the last one. So I never became a lifeguard. Poor me. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so I did travel a lot. I went to Mexico when I was 18 and I literally traveled there by myself for two weeks and I met a lot of people. It was amazing because I literally hung out with like these really well off kids. Their parents were really well off. So like, it was just not a typical like like the way they live versus the way the rest of Mexico is like locally. It was very, very different, but it was such a crazy experience. Like, I don't know. It was like, just to give you an idea, there was like this couple that would be like always fighting there was a group of us, right? I met up with somebody, but then her friends introduced, I introduced me to all her friends. And these two people, they were dating, it was a couple, and the girl, her father was like, uh, had owned some like, like a whole bunch of gas stations. So he had a lot of money. And then I think the guy, I think his parents owned like Corona, like the, like some plants in, in Mexico or something like that. So like they had so much money, but it was just funny because they were always fighting. Um, but yeah, so just, that's just like small, like, that's basically like the environment that I was in when I was there at that time. And it's funny cause I vlogged it all. This is 2001 and I vlogged it all and it's on tapes, but I would love to um, transfer that stuff onto... Maybe I should make a vlog out of it. Like, explaining where I am and doing what. Because I traveled to the city and it was like 18 hours on a bus ride. It was like pretty intense. Should be a series, maybe. 
I'm literally coming up with this like as we're talking. All right, yeah, it's a long story. I gotta explain it all and all. But yeah, anyways, so like my dream job, you know, obviously I don't know what my dream job was, but like it was weird because when I was a kid, I made lists, a lot of lists and goals, and like I didn't really understand how like careers work. So like I wrote down like at 16 I wanted to be a weightlifter. <laughs> And then at 18, I wanted to be a fireman. Like, honestly, like, I don't know where I come up with this stuff. I remember writing it down. And I remember looking at it every day. Like, it was in, like, this, like, in my desk. Like, my desk had a door. And it was written, like, inside the desk. Um, I think I wanted to be a lifeguard at 20. But I was all over the place. Like, I didn't, I don't think I understood how time works for years. <laughs> it's funny because, like, I made so many lists and, like, I still do that today. Like, I still, like, the more, like, the older I get, the more I realize that, like, I'm the type of person that likes to make goals and tries to aim for them. And, like, it gives me purpose in life, I guess. I don't know. I think when I was a kid, I didn't want to lose, like, I, I felt like if I didn't make these plans, I'd be, like, wasting my life. So weird. I was really young. I must have been, like, maybe, like, nine or eight when I was doing this. I was thinking about the future already. <laughs> I don't know. I should have videotaped it. <laughs> but, yeah. How's your meal going? I gave Bear a, a bone, so he's just eating away on the couch. There's dessert! Are you, you're probably not finished your meal yet, but... Last bite and I'll uh, I'll go get dessert. Cause dessert is important. Tiramisu, look at that. Can't see it. It's blurry. Yeah, I mean, um, if you're still eating, you could put it on pause and then uh, join me for dessert. Or you know what? Just keep eating. I don't know. This is pretty good. <laughs> Tiramisu is so good when it's like cold. And actually made properly. I feel like a lot of people don't make it properly. This one's pretty, pretty close. Oh. I forgot to tell you. I got you a gift. This is all for you. There, I'll put it right here. Don't worry, it's nothing. So, how was your meal? 
Did you like this? Was it fun? I don't know. It's something different, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't really see these things come up. I was thinking about doing it live, but I was talking to Sandra and I was talking to Tara Lynn about this, and she, they, they were giving me some ideas. And live would have been amazing, but I didn't like certain aspects of it, so I figured might as well make a, like a video. Um, Maybe make a watch party. I would love to know if you guys, if you specifically sat down and had dinner with me. Because right now I'm, I can't see anyone. But it would be fun. It would be fun to know what was your take on it and what, what was it like for you guys. Um, I don't know. I just feel like. You know, it's one of those days that people put a lot of pressure on others and on themselves. And they always hear like, oh, Valentine's Day, like, who's your, like, you know, what are you guys doing? Or what are you doing? And, blah, blah, blah. and like, if you're not with anyone, you're just like, shut up about it. Like, I don't want to hear about it anymore. But this way, you have plans. <laughs> Shitty plans. <laughs> I dressed up. So, I cared. <laughs> Can't say I didn't. But yeah, let me know what you ate. <sighs> so yeah, I think that's it. So hopefully you had a good dinner. You guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week for another vlog.